Hey everybody, welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Ashlyn and today I will be sharing with you all my wash day routine. Now I sort of mix it up a little bit for the better. Um, I started uh, just doing an extra step that really helped transform my hair and made it smoother and a lot more moisturized. Um, but before I get into that, I'm going to shampoo my hair. So, the shampoo that I will be using today is the Aussie Miracle Moist Shampoo. It has avocado and jojoba oil. It looks really nice. I love this uh, shampoo and this line specifically because I really, anything, like I said, like anything with moisture, I tend to just go after with my hair um, because as I'm sure everybody knows that curly hair just is dry um, so we need to maintain our moisture into our hair so when I saw this line like years ago I started to use it a lot more as I was saying so when I started when I saw this line I started to use it and it really held up to uh, what it claims it does keep my I didn't notice um, a great deal of moisture in my hair um, so I definitely recommend this if you want to try it and use it out for yourself it is paraben free so that's a plus and yes yeah, so I'm just gonna go wash my hair and then I will come back and show you guys my next steps all right everybody I am back from washing my hair and I forgot to mention um, in the intro of this video I do like to wash my hair every two weeks my hair has honestly I haven't probably washed my hair in three weeks uh, probably but so my hair really needed a nice wash um, so my hair feels nice and clean and one thing that I did forget to mention that the shampoo really makes my hair feel like so light and fluffy like it's on a cloud so I really love this stuff. Okay, next in this step is my conditioner. And <laughs> I already put some in my hair just to stop my hair from dripping. Um, but I'm using the Aussie Moist Conditioner here. Again, this has avocados and jojoba oil. And it's paraben free. Alright, so like I said, I already put a little bit into my hair. But now I'm going to section off and really go in. I might do about, f uh, yeah, I might do about four sections, so I might need to get other hair tie, but I'm just going to randomly section, well, not randomly, but I'm going to, like, section my hair in the middle. I'm not at all worried about how straight my part is, how the part looks, how it feels. I don't care. I'm not keeping my hair like this, so it doesn't matter at all. So now, like I said, I just split my hair into four random sections, and I'm just going to pump conditioner in my hands and detangle my hair with the conditioner in it. So I'm just running. I like to, I always use my fingers. It's very rare that I use, uh, like, brushes or combs or anything like that. I've just always been, um... A finger girl, I guess. That doesn't sound wrong. Um, I just always like using my hands in my hair. I don't really like using tools that much. Um, so yeah. So we're just going to continue with this. I just like to, when I come across a um, really kind of stubborn part of my hair, like something is really, really knotted, I just add more conditioner and slowly just work my way to it. And uh, my hair isn't super tangled um, now, which is great. Because um, now this section is pretty much detangled. All right, so now this section is done. What I'm going to do now is braid it. Or you can twist it if you don't know how to braid. Well, actually, I want to remove all the dead hair from my hands first and then braid it. I'm going to braid my hair down. Okay, so after I finish braid this section, I'm just going to go through all four sections. And then 
I will come back. Alright everybody, it's been about 15 minutes since I shut off the camera. Um, next, um, I already finished more uh, three-fourths of my head. Uh, so, so, with step number three, um, so the first step was shampoo, second step is condition and detangle, um, I'll put that in, uh, part one and part two. Now, step three is oiling. Now, this is my Olive Miracle anti-breakage, uh, tea tree, uh, olive oil here. Looks like this. This is probably my favorite oil that I have personally ever used. I just really love it. Um, it smells amazing and it, it just does a great job in keeping my hair moisturized. Um, so the conditioner is still in my hair. So as you can see, I just have this one part left that I need to fill. Uh, or I guess I need to spread the oil on. So after I finish detangling and conditioning my hair, uh, I braided all my sections and I just started again basically. But this time with the oil. So I just put the oil in my hands. Oh, that just splattered everywhere. Put the oil in my hands. <laughs> put the oil in my hands and I'm just going to rub it. And finger comb it in. So now that that is done, I'm just going to take a little more oil in my hand and kind of just put my hair back like so. What I take, just drop it on my ends. Make sure to get those ends because that is major importance in the back of your hair as well. All right, so next we're going to deep condition. So I'm gonna keep this in my hair for an hour. Let me wipe off my hands of product and hair. <laughs> so we're just going to gather our hair, or I'm just gonna gather my hair up in a high ponytail, like so. Kind of like I'm, I'm about to go to sleep. And then I'm just going to spin and wrap my hair in a bun. I'm not going to use any hair ties or anything like that. I just kind of like to squish it together uh, just to ensure that it stays and just also to keep uh, the products kind of mitch, uh, like squished in together. Then I'm going to take a bag if you have like a hooded dryer or something like that you can definitely use that but I know a lot of people don't have it so uh, like me I don't have it <laughs> so I'm just going to take a bag and put that over my head and then just kind of swirl it and close it now you can leave it like this but what I like to do is take a hat and put a hat over it, like so. And it just helps it a lot more. Alright, so now again, I'm going to leave this in for one hour and then we're going to wash it out. And then I will show you guys how my hair looks and explain to you guys how amazing it's going to feel. Because I know it's going to feel amazing. All right, see you guys in one hour. All right guys, so it has been an hour. I rinsed out my hair and my hair feels so soft and smooth. Now this will be the time where I will style my hair with my kinky curly, not, to, not today. <laughs> My kinky curly original curling custard um, but I don't think I'm going to style my hair curly um, just with everything going on I don't know um, I'm just gonna for today put my hair into two uh, cornrows but I'm just gonna show you guys I don't I'm not gonna bore you guys with that um, but this is just like the end result 
of my hair. My hair feels so smooth. I love it. And my curls are still peeking out too as well. So that's always a great sign. It's always nice to have a great base to start out with. Um, especially like if I was uh, styling my hair curly. This is just like a great uh, start. Um, just like if you're going to straighten your hair, it'd be better to blow dry your hair straight first and then go in with a straightener instead of trying to straighten curly hair like this would just make the task like 10 times more difficult. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Give this video a like if you liked it. Subscribe down below if you want to. Leave a comment down below as well if you like. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye!